like take. I always wanted one of those. My name is Drew Burke, and I am a starving photographer, father of two, married. What do I do? Obviously, I'm not starving. Um, man, everything. Photography. Photography is my life. Skateboarding was my life. It's not my life anymore. So, photography and screen printing. I help a buddy screen print 80's metal punk and the occasional 5k run t-shirt. <laughs> Funny enough and it was either you know we stay in California and I continue to do what I'm doing or I get to quit my job, my career and uh, which was skateboarding, uh, working behind the scenes, behind a desk, um, but uh, or become a dreamer and do something that I really loved, which was photography. And I'm doing that. I mean, I'm not doing it to its full potential, but I'm doing it. Photography professionally, getting paid full time, traveling the world but somehow figuring out a time warp to where I can get back and be a father to my kids. So basically, I would stay at home and raise my kids and wish I was a full-time professional photographer. <laughs> so you're already doing that. Exactly, I'm killing it. I'm already beat the system. But no, I'd be doing what I'm doing now, you know father or two, uh, and photographing everything from families to newborns to photojournalism, you know. I don't think I'll ever go corporate again. Uh, I'll, you know, figure out a way to beat the system, stand or the radar, and uh, work for myself for the rest of my life. But yeah, no, I have my dream job. I have my dream life. Um, I can't complain. Who would listen? You guys? <laughs> so, if I could put it all down, pick it up tomorrow and have my dream job, I wouldn't. I wouldn't put down what I got now. I just figure how to make it better. That's that's what I would do. That's what I need to do. Figure out how to make shit tight. Think you might pick that up? You got a poop? No, that was just my stomach saying you probably should put some more food in here. Yeah, you're not you're not good at this. <laughs> this is the first interview I've ever had where I sat in front of a camera and I just rambled. How's that an interview? We're gonna do an interview, but I'm not gonna ask you any questions. I'm just gonna be here and fucking be completely silent. See, there's no answer. The man behind the lens does not speak. All right, so I'll ask all the questions.